Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Birdie Blue, stocking popular naked vice bag range. SAFM News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Fleck here with the latest. The Housing Australia Future Fund could be passed in the Senate before the week is out. Legislation's been resurrected there after it failed to get up earlier this year and is now expected to pass with help from the Greens. PM Anthony Albanese telling Parliament a lot of people are looking for a place to live across the country and this bill is an important step to making it happen. It will see homes built for frontline workers, for veterans. It will fix up housing in remote and regional communities. This is the single biggest investment in housing in more than a decade, and it ensures that more Australians have a safe and affordable place to call home. However, there may be more work ahead for the government. The Greens have warned they may not support other housing legislation in the pipeline if help for renters isn't secured. The quake death toll in Morocco has surpassed 2,800. The military and sniffer dogs are helping search rubble in the isolated mountain areas days on from that 6.8 magnitude quake, while flooding in Libya has left more than 2,000 dead and thousands more missing. A public memorial will be held for the 10 victims of the Hunter Valley bus tragedy and their loved ones on October 21. The New South Wales government announced they'll live stream the event too. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is meeting President Vladimir Putin. The pair are expected to talk weapons. And experts are again raising the alarm about vapes with over a quarter of Aussie teens admitting they've had a puff. A study of more than 4,000 teenagers aged 14 to 17 by Sydney Uni fighting that's up from 10% three years ago. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. Jack Gunston will ramp up his recovery from a knee injury as the Lions enjoy a week off before their prelim final against either the Dees or Blues. The key forward hasn't played since round 22. Teammate Hugh McLuggage says it won't be easy to break into a winning lineup. That's going to be a tough call for the, the coaching group to make, and yeah, I'm sure they'll, they'll make the decision that you know lends itself best to us playing well against whichever opponent we come up against. Meantime, Giants vice captain Josh Kelly insists he's fully fit ahead of Saturday's semi final against Port, despite watching on board most of today's training run. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Sunny in the limestone coast, getting down to 9 degrees this evening. Tomorrow, mostly sunny with an expected high of 24 degrees, exposing the history that haunts hundreds of thousands of Aussies. The Secrets We Keep, Shame, Lies and Family podcast is out now on the Listener app. <laughs> 